Sage CRM offers a knowledge base that helps you solve customer issues involving your product or service. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create and use knowledge base solutions. So let's jump right in and take a look. For our example, we'll be playing the role of Kylie Ward, Customer Support Manager for Panoply Corporation. Panoply sells and supports a time and billing software application. A number of Panoply's customers have inquired how to generate reports from the time and billing software in a non-default currency, so we'll create a solution that can be referenced by the customer support team to quickly assist customers with this issue. We'll do this by going to the Solutions tab in My CRM. Here you'll find a list of all solutions that have been assigned to you for creation or review. We'll click New Solution and notice that a reference ID is automatically generated. Area is a field that you can easily customize to match the requirements of your business. For this example, we'll select Software. Now we'll enter a short description, and importantly, to make it easily searchable, you'll want to include keywords in the description. And now let's enter the details. So you won't have to watch me type, I'll paste in the text. Let's select the customer service team so it can be viewed by other customer service reps. And finally, we'll assign it to Kylie Ward. And now we'll click Save. From this point, the review and approval process for the solution is controlled by Sage CRM's workflow. Importantly, you can modify workflow to fit your company's needs. Notice that the status of the solution is now draft, and using the workflow actions, you have the option to assign the solution to a manager for review. However, since Kylie Ward is a manager, she can approve her own solutions. So we'll continue playing her role and click Approve, and for a tracking note, let's enter Tested and Verified, and then click Save. Now here's a very important point. If you're using the optional web self-service component of Sage CRM, you can make this solution available on your website for your customers to see. You enable this by progressing the workflow to a status of published. If you leave the status as not published, then it will only be available for internal viewing. Let's go ahead and click Publish and click Save. So now let's take a look at how a customer service representative would use solutions to solve a support issue. In Sage CRM, customer service issues are known as cases, which we introduced in a previous video. So let's open an existing case by clicking Continue to return to My CRM and open the Cases tab, and we'll open the first one by clicking the link. Reviewing the case details, we can see that our customer, Annette O'Toole, needs to know how to generate a report in a non-default currency. Knowing that the solution is likely in our knowledge base, we'll open the Solutions tab. We'll click the Link Solution button to search for a solution and link it to the case. You have two options for searching. The first is to use the Finder by clicking the triangle. Using the Finder allows you to enter keywords, in this case currency, and we'll select Contains. And also, you can use filters as necessary to narrow your search. Alternatively, you can enter your keywords directly into the Link Solution field, and we first enter the percent symbol, which means contains the word currency, and now we'll click the search button. The first solution appears to match our customer's issue, so we'll select it, and we can review the solution by double clicking the field. And this does in fact appear to be the correct solution, so we'll close it and click Save to link it to the case. We can now email the solution to our customer by opening the solution and clicking the Email button. Notice that our customer's email address is merged into the To field. Let's cut and paste the solution's title into the subject line and click Send Email. And once it's sent, you'll find a record of the email under the Cases Communications tab. You don't need to be within the context of a case to search for solutions. Using the Finder on the left side menu, you can select Solutions and search in the same manner that we demonstrated earlier. Also, clicking the Cases tab will show you all of the cases that have been linked to this solution. Earlier we mentioned that by employing the optional web self-service, 
your customers can view knowledge base solutions on your website. So let's jump over to Panoply's website and click on Support. We'll log in as our customer, Annette O'Toole, with her username and password. Let's go to the Search Solutions page. And here, your customers can search the knowledge base for solutions on their own. Let's try it out by entering percent currency, again, meaning contains the word currency, and hitting the finder, only the currency related solution that was set to a status of published appears on the website. Your customer can review the solution by clicking the reference ID. You may recall that there are two other currency related solutions in the system but they will not appear on the website unless their status is changed to published. So to recap, knowledge base solutions in Sage CRM can help you quickly address customer issues and the result will be happy customers. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in Sage CRM. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.